Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the TM30 yet again, very popular topic low these past few weeks, specifically in the context of the yellow book, the Thai house book. This question seems to have popped up quite a bit here recently in the kingdom since the enforcement of the TM30. And this is a topic that if you were to talk to me five or six years ago and you would have gotten me just off the top of my head without doing my research, I would have told you, oh, no problem at all. If you're in a yellow house book, you don't need to worry about things like TM30 or 90 day reporting. And we've done another video specifically on 90 day reporting in the yellow house book. But I wanted to go ahead and make this video because we, I went ahead, the staff and I went ahead and did some research and we've gotten some definitive answers with respect to yellow books and TM30 reporting. So the first thing that one has to recognize when watching this video and understanding this overall topic is first of all, Thailand utilizes a civil law system. It is unique. There is really no other legal system around the world that is like Thailand's. It has certain aspects of the British common law system which is what the American system tends to use. It has many aspects from the European civil law tradition, but it's all uniquely Thai. Thailand has a very unique legal system. So presumptions that folks make from abroad, even folks that are legal professionals, oftentimes can land you in some problems because they may not be accurate from both a factual and a legal sense. So as I said, in the past, I would have presumed that having a yellow house book meant that you no longer needed to deal with things like TM30. Well, I'm wrong, or I would have been wrong in the past. The, the Immigration Act was passed in 1979 here in the Kingdom of Thailand. Whereas the Civil Registration Act, which governs exactly what its title sounds like, civil registration, which is registration of houses, registration of residents, births, etc., of people here in the kingdom. That there was there's an amendment or there was that act predates the Immigration Act, but didn't speak to anything having to do with yellow books. But the regulations regarding yellow books did not come around until 1991. So the two main dates that we need to be looking at here are 1979 and 1991, because in 91 the Civil Registrar Act changed and started allowing these. This is a yellow book as, as opposed to this, which is a blue book. Those that have blue books are permanent residents in the kingdom or Thai citizens. And once you're in one of these, you definitely don't need to deal with things like TM30 because you're considered permanently resident, permanently domiciled in the kingdom. Those that have this are considered temporary. And I'll get into that in more detail here shortly. But what I want to do is go through the acts, uh, provide translated content here from the act so that you can understand where we're at with respect to this and thereby understand exactly where you stand with respect to the TM30 and the Yellow House book. Okay, so the act, the Immigration Act from 1979, which says this. Section 38, the householder, the owner, or the possessor of a dwelling place. That should be noted, possessor of a dwelling place. This can be, a lot of folks have some questions about, does this apply to landlords? Does it apply to tenants? Possessor of a dwelling place. Arguably, renting something for a month makes you the possessor of that dwelling place for that month. Moving forward. So, the householder, the owner, or the possessor of a dwelling place, or a hotel manager who takes in as a resident an alien with permission to temporarily stay in the kingdom shall notify the competent official at the immigration office located in the locality in which the house, dwelling place, or hotel is located within 24 hours from the time the alien is taken residence. If there is no immigration office located in that locality, the police officer at a police station of that locality shall be notified. And they go into some more about if it's in Bangkok, it'll be done at the Immigration Division. But Section 38, this is your TM30. You have to file if you've taken up residence somewhere 
for a TM30. Now, let's go back over here to the Civil Registra Registration Act. As amended 1991, Section 38 of that act, oddly enough. Yes, they have, they have uh, sections that, uh, that correspond to one another. The district or local registrar shall issue a household registration for persons without Thai nationality having been permitted to stay temporarily and those having been given leniency for temporary residence in the Thai kingdom. Maybe leniency should more accurately be put as special dispensation for temporary residence in the Thai kingdom. As a special case in accordance with law and immigration and the declaration of the cabinet and their children born within the Thai kingdom. In a case of permission of temporary residence expiring, the registrar shall immediately redact such persons. So that's your yellow book. That's this. That in 91, they created these per statute. They didn't get rid of the Immigration Nationality Act, or the Immigration Act. They didn't get rid of Section 38 of the Immigration Act. They don't say that it amends it. It doesn't do anything. These two acts operate mutually exclusively of one another. They, they do not interfere, conflict. They don't even interact with each other. They're just two separate acts that have two separate sets of regulations, not regulations, laws, statutes set forth in them. And it's important to note that these are statutes, these are laws, these are not regulations, these are not ministerial regulations that can change as a result of changes to ministerial policy, for example. These are laws. So in order for them to change, they would have to be changed, presumably by an act of parliament, which would amend these laws and thereby change the requirements on foreigners in the kingdom. So the thing to take away from this video, these two acts operate independently of one another. They operate mutually exclusively of one another. They, they don't conflict with each other. They don't interact with each other. One creates yellow books. The other requires people to do TM30s. Therefore, as a result of that, and the fact that they don't interact, we can't find any law thus far. We've done, we've done our research. Those that have found something that seems to contradict the content of this video, please feel free to put it in the comments below. But that being said, we've looked for other laws or we've looked for amended laws which would change Section 38 of the Immigration Nationality Act or that would change the, uh, that would change the Civil Registration Act. We have not found it, and for that reason, I think it is safe to presume that those with a yellow house book still need to file TM30s when coming into the kingdom, when changing residences in the kingdom, etc. We hope you found this video insightful. For those of you who are interested, we're trying to make videos to provide up-to-date information as soon as this information comes out. And for that reason, it may be a good idea to go ahead and click the bell button, the bell icon below to go ahead and be updated as these videos come out, as you can go ahead and be apprised of the legal situation as it evolves.